When I first took the job, priority number one was to have Drew Crawford stay with us and be all in with what we're doing going forward. Northwestern gets a huge win. They knock off the Indiana Hoosiers 54 to 46. Being that he had graduated and had redshirted last year, he was in a position to go anywhere in the country and, and play. He loved us enough as brothers that you know, he said, there's no way I could leave this place. And that, to me, shows, you know, his true character and how he's, he's a warrior and a captain. He cared about our team and he cared about me personally. History here at the Cole Center. And the first win for the Cats at Madison since 96. This year, I think, you know, nobody expected us to win a Big Ten game. We embraced that. It started with our captain, it started with Drew, saying that every day we're going to fight. He's never going to quit, you know. Even if he makes a mistake, he's going to make up for it. He's just that determined. Pass stolen. Here's Gallegos. Drive to the rim. Blocked by Crawford. What a play. And Lumpkin gathers in the rebound. Cats have numbers. Here's Ola. He'll take a jumper off the glass. It is. Coaches always can rely on their older players, their veterans. They're the ones that teach the younger guys what college basketball is all about. 44-36 Nebraska. Crawford right by three. Good! Drew is the rock whenever anything is going wrong. Our players look to him for confidence. They look to him for strength. Got it again! The senior has stepped up. Evanston is alive and kicking. He deserves the best of his teammates every day to try to go out and give him our best. And that's what we will do the rest of the season. Into the lane, Matthew to the bucket, no. Second try, off the mark. For the first time since 1960, the Northwestern Wildcats have won three straight road games in the Big Ten Conference. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of the way we play defense. We don't have the most talent in the Big Ten, and so we have to make up for that by just how hard we play and how hard we're working every night for each other. I don't have a single regret. I'm playing here, I'm playing for my teammates, coaching staff, that's what I signed up for. There was some great program that I could have had a chance to go play at, but I just wanted to be here at Northwestern because this is the place where my heart's really at. It took me a couple months to kind of make the final decision. And that was one of the most stressful periods of my life. I was working out with my teammates here, but they didn't know whether I was gonna come back or not, and I didn't even know. I could see in the spring the angst that this young guy was feeling. And I said, you know, Drew, you've got one or two ways you can go. I mean, you can go somewhere and maybe play in the NCAA tournament, or you could be that guy who stays, and people here at Northwestern will always recognize you. Doug Collins brought up the idea of being a bridge from this, this school's past into the future of the program with Coach Collins leading it. So, you know, it means a lot to me to be able to be on his first team and kind of help the future of this Northwestern program. Yes, Drew Crawford, what a night. He's a motivation for me every day because the sense of urgency for him, this is the last month of his career. My senior year at Duke, we were a little bit depleted with talent. We ended up getting to the tournament and going 18 and 13, which if you look at Duke standards, maybe that isn't what everybody expected, but you know, for Coach K and for me as a senior, I knew that that was kind of a year to set the stage of getting back to where, you know, the program wanted to go. We all have aspirations of, of where we want our basketball program to go. And when we get there, I'm going to look back at Drew Crawford as the guy that set the stage for all of that because he stayed, he believed, and I will always have his back for that and he will always be a big part of this program forever because of his decision.